Philip fans, it is another beautiful day as awaken you to Menalize TV. So the BEC has ended at the set for the student that will be this year. So that is BEC 2025. So we are starting with question number one. So question about given that P is equal to multiples of three and Q is equal to positive even numbers. They are the subset of the universal set. X is such that one is less or equal to X, which is less or equal to 20. So list the members of P in that is in Q and then list all the subsets in Q. So we have to list the members of the universal set. So X is such that one is less than X, which is what? Less or equal to 20. It means that the X here is what? Is greater than one. So the universal set will start from 2 to 20. So the members of the universal set are 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, up to 20. Now we come to P. P is multiples of 3. Since P is a subset of U, that means the multiples of 3 that you get, they must come from the mother set U. So the multiples of 3 here is 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, and 18. So these are the multiples of P, uh, 3 that we have here, which is the members of what? P. Then we come to Q. The members of Q. Positive even numbers. Positive even numbers. So the even numbers that we have in the mother set start from 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, and 20. So those are the positive even numbers. Now we come to list the members or the elements in P intersection. Q. Intersection means the elements that are common to both P and Q. So when we look at this, we have 6 here and 6 here to show 6 is 1. We have 12 here and 12 here as well, so we have 12. Then we have 18 and 18 here. So the intersection of P and Q is 6, 12, and 18. Then we come to the second question, which says we should list all the subsets in P intersection Q. So when we talk about a subset, a subset is a set that is what being derived from what? Another set. So the P intersection Q that we have is what? 6, 12, and 18. Here we have to list all the subsets that we can get from this set. So the first one, we have an empty set. So an empty set is a subset of what? All sets. Then we are going for unit set. So we have 6, 12, 18. Then we are going to combine them to So we have 6 and 12. 12 and 18 then also 6 and 18 and the last one 6 12 and 18 so we say a subset is a subset of all sets and then a set is a subset of what itself so when we look at this we are supposed to get 8 subsets so 1, 2, 3, 4 5, 6, 7, 8. So these are the subsets of P intersection Q. So for us to know the number of subsets that we can get for a given set, we use the formula 2 exponent n. So the n is the number of elements or members that we have in a set. So when you look at this, the member that we have here is what? There are 3. So it becomes 2 exponent 3. So that 2 exponent 3 is 2 times 2 times 2. So 2 times 2 give us 4. 4 times 2 will give us 8. So that means we have to get 8 subsets. So when we look at this, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8. So these are the 8 subsets that you can get from the P intersection Q. So we come to question 1B. 
So we have the relation 1 over y is equal to 3k minus 2 out of what? x. So first we have to make y the subject in the relation. So making y the subject, we have 1 over y which is equal to 3k minus 2 out of x. So this is the same as over 1. So when you look at this, we have y, x, and then y, 1, and what? x. So we have to find, uh, ask ourselves, what is the XCM for y, 1, and x? So the XCM there is x, y. So what we do is multiply So we multiply two by the XCM, which is the x, y. So the x, y is our XCM. So we are going to multiply all the three terms with x, y. So when we come to the first one, so the x, y times 1 over y, which is equal to x, y times 3k minus x, y multiplying 2 out of x. So once we are done with this, here the y will cancel this, then we are left with what x here. So our x is equal to. So this will multiply, we have 3kxy. Then here the x will cancel the x that you have here, then minus this and this will give us what 2y. So now that we have 2y, the x is equal to 3x, 3kxy minus 2y. We have to make y the subject, not x the subject. So what we have to do is, our x is equal to 3. So in this case, we have to make y the subject here. We have to factor out y here. So y out, then we are left with 3kx, then minus. So here we are left here with what? With 2. So since we factor y out, we have to divide both sides by 3kx minus 2 and this are also by 3kx minus 2 so we have the 3kx minus 2 here so this will cancel this so it means that our y is equal to x over 3kx minus 2 so making y the subject we have y is equal to x out of 3kx minus so we come to 1 B I I. So now that you know why it's equal to x over 3 k x minus 2, we have to put the values in to know the value of y. So in place of x, we are going to put negative 1 there, and in place of k, we are going to put what? 2 there. So it means that y is equal to the x is negative 1. So negative 1 out of 3 k. And then the k here is what? Is 2. So in place of k, we are putting 2 there. Then the x that we have here is what? Negative 1. So minus 1 minus the 2 that we have there. So we have the negative 1 on the top. So 3 times 2 will give us 6. 6 times negative 1 will give us negative 6. Then we have the negative 2 there as well. So what we have is negative 1, then negative 6 minus. 2 will give us minus 8. So negative, negative, they will cancel. So negative cancel. So we have we are left with 1 out of 8. So this 1 out of 8 is the value of y. So y is equal to 1 out of 8. So we come to question number 2. We have to evaluate 4,000 times 0 0.35 divided by 0 0.05 leaving your answer in a standard form so in a standard form the number that we get should not be more than 10 and should not be less than 1 that's the standard form the number should not be greater than 10 and the number should not be less than 1 as well the number should not be 0 so when you look at the 4000 that you have here it's more than 10 that is 4000 so what we have to do is the 4000 times 0 0.35 over 0 0.05 so the 4000 we can change it to standard form straight forward so 1, 2, 3 so that is 4 times 10 exponent 3 then times 
means we don't need zero, we need a number that is what? More than zero. So we can go one, two. So that is 35 times 10. So since we are moving from the left to the right, the exponent will be negative. So negative two. All over. So the we have to move one, two, we have five times ten exponent negative two. So from there, what we have is four times ten exponent three times thirty-five exponent negative times ten exponent negative two over five times ten exponent negative two as well. So what we have is 5 will go into itself once and goes here 7 times. So if this negative 2 goes to the top, it becomes what? Positive. So we have 4 times this 7 that we have here times 10 exponent 3 exponent 3 times another 10 exponent negative 2 times another 10. Now we are sending this 10 to the top. It is negative here. When it gets to the top, it becomes what? Positive. So, exponent 2 there. So, what we have is 4 times 7 will give us 28. 8 times. So, this positive and negative will do away with each other. So, you can say this will cancel this. Then, what we have here is 10 exponent 3. So, this 28 is more than 10. We need the number to be less than 10, but this is 28. So we have to move a step from here to here. One step becomes 2.8 times. So since we move a step, that means times 10 exponent 1 times the 10 exponent 3 here. So we have 2.8 multiplying with 10 exponent. So 3 plus 1 will give us 4. So the question that we have from the beginning. This is the final answer in the standard for 2.8 times 10 exponent 4. So we come to question 2b. Mr. Boti get 10% commission on type P house himself and 50% commission on type K house. He sells three types of type P houses at 700,000 each and then four types of type Q houses at one million four hundred thousand each calculate this total commission so the first we have to do is what to look at the houses and then their commission so when you come to type p he sold three so that three will be three times seven hundred thousand so the three times seven hundred thousand will give us two million one hundred thousand cities So the total sales here is 2,100,000. So we are going to find 10% commission of this. So 10% commission is going to be 10 over 100 times the total sales, 200 million 100,000. So 1, 2, we'll do away with the two zeros that we have here. So what we have is 10 times. 2,000, 10 times 21,000, so so the 10 times the 21 that we have will give us 210,000. So on type P, he got a commission of 210,000. So for the type P houses, he sold four of them. So one is 1,400,000. So the 1,400,000 times 4 will give us 5,600,000 so 5,600,000 that is the total sales of a house the whole type Q the house type Q then we come to 15% of that one so that will be 15 over 100 15 over 100 times 5,600,000. So, two zeros will do away with this one. So, that will give us 840,000. So, here, the commission that he's making here is 840,000. 
But the question is, what is his total commission? So, commission for house type B. Plus type K. So type B, we have a commission of two hundred and ten thousand. Then Q, we have a commission of eight hundred and forty thousand. So two hundred and ten thousand plus eight hundred and forty thousand, we are going to have. So we are getting one million and fifty thousand. So this one million and fifty thousand is his total commission for the houses that he sold. So thank you so much for watching today's episode. Remember to stay tuned to Menalize TV for more updates. So this is just about question number one and two. So in our next video, we we'll solve question three and question four as well. Thank you.